Alpha Omega World Development Mars Hall Program Incorporated, P.O. Box Number 387, Baguio City 2600, Cordillera Administrative Region. Phone 0917-894-3676-0966-186-7659. Email Alpha Omega World 777 at Gmail. Dot com Chris Alpha Romega 777 at gmail dot com Resolution number 0102274 A slash 211 2020 Honorable Dias Dado M. Peralta, Chief Justice, Supreme Court of the Philippines, Supreme Court Building, Padre Fora Street. Metro Manila, Philippines. Honorable I. Tiburcio Villamor Marcus is known as His Majesty King Tiburcio Villamor Marcus to la nota GN the fourth with codename TVMLSM 666, Chairman of the Alpha Omega World Development Marshall Program, King of Recognized Assets Nations Koran. Sole signatory, with U.S. Treasury ID, IC 60-847-9. With titular decree number, 01-022-740A, with Federal Reserve System. ID. Number C60-8479, with Global Funder Trilateral ID number 54-32-1101. 10, Chairman of the Committee of 300, a member of G20-23H World LSM Alpha Romica. A member of the Board of Trilateral Commission, Chairman of El Banco Esperol Filipino de Isabel Segundo, a member of United Nations of International Security Council and the Bureau of Central Interpol. I'm writing to ask your participation adopt the goal of allowing at least 100 million plus Filipinos. To be the beneficiaries of the Alpha Omega World Development Marshall Program Incorporated. AOWD MPI Global Flagship Anti Poverty Programs in accordance with the United Nations Economic, Social and Cultural Council Order ECASOC Article 55, to Wid Charter of the United Nations Chapter 9. With a view to the creation of conditions of stability and well-being which are necessary for peaceful and friendly relations among nations, based on respect for the principle of equal rights and self-determination of peoples, the United Nations shall promote a higher standard of living, full employment, and conditions of economic and social progress and development. Page 1 b. Solutions of international economic, social, health and related problems, and international cultural and educational cooperation, and c. Universal respect for, and observance of human rights and fundamental freedoms for all without distinction as to race, sex language or religion. According to Infinite Bank Statement, the Committee of 300 and the World Bank Group with the 35 regulatory bodies, bureaus, and commissions are my supporting groups, to execute the ECASOC Project Article 55, 56, 57, and 63 to 70 are intended for the humanitarian and national economic development for the people of the Philippine Islands 10%. 70% and the world 10%, 50% as stated herewith. A. Humanitarian Economic Development Program 1. Livelihood Development Program 2. Scholarship Development Program 3. Healthcare Development Program 4. Annuity Development Program B. International Economic Development Program 1. Infrastructure Development Program, 2. Agricultural Development Program, 3. Mining Development Program, 4. Industrial Development Program. 
a resolution number 01022740A-2-11-2020 that I'm willing and able, ready to print Philippine pesos in the Republic of the Philippines as a sole signatory of King of Recognized Asset Nations Coron together with Alpha Omega World Development Marshall Program Incorporated. The auspices of United Nations UN, UN Security Council, UNIDO, UNCTAD, UNDP, UNHCR and WHO for the implementation of United Nations Economic, Social and Cultural Council Order, ECOSOC Project Article 55, 56, 57, 63 to 70. Through the following. 1. Compliance Clearinghouse in Holding Bank Group of Central Banks of Central Banks. 2. Compliance Clearinghouse in Bureau of Engraving and Printing of U.S. Treasury. 3. Compliance Clearinghouse of International Monetary Fund IMF and Federal Reserve System. 4. The Eminent Ancestral Domain of OCTT 01-4 Hacienda Filipina Archipelago 1769 Island Slash Inlets. 5. The 1949 Central Bank of the Philippines with 400,000 metric tons of gold backup with escrow funding Land Bank, Banco de Oro, Metrobank, Bank of Philippine Islands BPI and other commercial banks. Page 2. 6. The Constitutional Rights and My Ownership. With the testator, movent, witnesses, and affiant intervener of the following. 1. Supreme Court of the Philippines, 2. International Court of Justice ICJ, 3. International Criminal Court ICC, 4. International World Court of Arbitration, 5. International World Court of Bank for International Settlement. A Global Directives is the main objectives in our first summit meeting, held in Manila, Philippines dated January 25th. 2020 is a preparation for the United Nations Economic, Social and Cultural Council Order, ECOSOC Project Article 55, 56, 57, and 63 to 70. Supported by ordinary Filipino people are waiting for these projects to be implemented. Annex A. The purpose of first summit meeting is a continuation plan of the United Nations Economic, Social and Cultural Council Order, ECOSOC Project Article 55, 56, 57, and 63 dated October 4, 1982. Your participation is highly important by allowing us to print Philippine pesos so that I can fully implement the United Nations Economic, Social and Cultural Council Order, ECOSOC Project Article 55, 56, 57, and 63. It was already a long delay to implement these projects without the support of the Philippine government. Annex B. Once you allow us to print Philippine pesos, I will follow the last G77 summit meeting. It will be a G summit meeting of H World LSM Alpha Omega World Development Marshall Program Incorporated will be held in Malacarang Palace and inviting all leaders of the Philippine government including 35 regulatory bodies bureaus and commission to be signatories and witnesses for the ECOSOC project's plans and to renew of bilateral mines field breakthrough successor agreements dated August 11th, 1950 ended in the year 2005 plus 5 years moratorium 2010. My mission statement for the Filipino people and to the world as part of the United Nations Economic, Social and Cultural Council Order, ECOSOC Project Article 55, 56. 57, and 63 to 70. 1. To implement the World Peace Economic Stimulus Backup of the Global Monetary Systems of all central banks worldwide, and set on track the global currency reset. 2. 
the Central Bank of the Philippines will serve as the Millennium Centurion Gold Bullion Bank of the World backed with the ancestral domain of OCTT-01-04 the Hacienda Filipina Archipelago and in conjunction with the 13 Federal Reserve System Banks and Treasury Vaults of the United States of America, the Central Bank of the Philippines is the safekeeping bank for gold, diamonds, and platinum that is protected by the Treaty of Paris, the Treaty of Versailles 1928-1934, the Treaty of Amity of Understanding in Page 3 Concordance of Agreement in 1950 with the Ministerial Attestations of League of Nations and the United Nations with all kinds of gents global economic trade zone. 3. Focusing to the main problem of every Filipino by providing them such as free water, free public hospitalization, free education in all public schools, free seminars and training for the job employment, free electricity to all households, residential units except the industrial, plants, industrial parks and other business purposes, job employment no age limits to prioritizing widow and single parent providing them a job. No age limits. 4. Establish a comprehensive social welfare development fund with a budget of 5 million Philippine peso 5 million point zero zero per Filipino from the newly born to the oldest. 5. Massive housing projects to all squatter areas, to all homeless steadier. Pabahe Parasalahat Nang Mahitirap. 6. Undertake massive infrastructure developments centered on the construction of roads, railways, mass housing, public schools, malls, hotels, and the major utilities energy, water, communications, transportation, agriculture, etc. in the implementation of environmental planning waste management, water distillation for free water, and utilization of our natural resources. 7. Offer a range of upgrades for the armed forces of the Philippines AFP, Philippine National Police PNP, military training and recruitment, hardware, contingency, and logistics. 8. We will enhance and upgrade our biggest fisheries by foreign culture propagations fisheries. Helping our Bureau of Fisheries using advanced technology in fisheries. 9. Associate our country as a voting member of G20-23 countries to be the strongest and most influential country in the world. A strong tie to all country of G20-23 members and the councils of foreign relations. 10. Invite Lockheed Martin, Grumman, and Aeroflot US and European Company to formally establish their stamping plants in the Philippines for the production and operation of state-of-the-art planes for commercial and industrial purposes. 11. Partner with Hyundai Engineering and Construction Company Limited, Hyundai Heavy Industries Company Limited, the world's largest shipbuilding company, to Page 4 Develop our own shipbuilding industry, and Bechtel Corporation Engineering, Construction and Project Management in Building Tunnels, Bridges, 500 Ports and Piers including shipyards for boats, cargo ships, and vessels. Lay out an intricate system of roads in every island of the archipelago, to interlink these ports, to enhance movement and commerce between and among the islands. 12. To stop all mining operations both local and international investors and excavations, in order to prevent destruction of our natural resources, natural paradise parks, forestations, rivers, and seas from the rampant mining. Tap and develop the most advanced technology for deuterium as the fuel of the future for clean energy, which is strategically available and an economically high potential, yet environment-friendly fuel alternative that could possibly replace conventional or fossil fuels. For the preservation of our treasures and treasure is diamonds, gold, platinum and others for the sake of our national pride and international prestige.
as a sole signatory of the King of Recognized Asset Nations. Koran it's my responsibility to renew the bilateral minefield breakthrough successor agreements in every country. The Marcus Talano to Gian family clan established this country a strong nation during that time up to this time, it's a continuation of my responsibility and obligations. I highly appreciate your implicit confirmation of my previous oath of office that was administered by former Chief Justices Lucas P. Bersamin on April 8, 2019, Fred Ruth Castro on August 11, 1978 and Chief Justice Renato Corona Annex C. We are partners for the development of this country and I honestly depend on your authority for the reactivation of the original 1949 Central Bank of the Philippines to merge with the Banco Central Nang Pilipinas 1993, which will be used as the clearinghouse of all my global accounts that are intended for the development of the entire Philippines. As member of Bureau of Central Interpol in the United Nations Security Council, it's my obligations to protect the Constitution of Republic of the Philippines, the Philippine sovereignty and the Filipino people. I have notified the Supreme Court of the Philippines and other government agencies for the reactivation of Interpol in the country due to massive corruptions, rampant institutional land grabbing and drug trafficking. I fully support the Philippine government program against lawless criminals. An XD. Since 2013, I've sent numerous and voluminous document to Chief Justices and Associate Justices of Supreme Court of the Philippines. President of Republic of the Philippines, Department of Justice, Blue Ribbon Committee, Integrated Bar of the Philippines IBP, Office of the Solicitor General, Ombudsman, National Bureau of Investigation NBI, National Intelligence Coordinating Council NICA, Department of National Defense DND, Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP. Philippine National Police PNP, Department of Foreign Affairs DFA and other government agencies in the country. Annexe. Page 5. Yearly, I've sent letters to notify the secretaries, directors, and heads of Philippine government offices for the implementation of United Nations Economic Social and Cultural Council ECASOC Project Article 55. 56, 57, and 63 and for the reactivation of 1949 Central Bank of the Philippines with safekeeping receipts. SKR of 400,000 metric tons of gold. Let the year hear these messages, to uplift the lives of every born Filipino people and other country are waiting us to implement this program. You already acknowledge my constitutional rights it's adjudicated and decreeing by Chief Justices of Supreme Court of the Philippines, Governor of Central Bank of the Philippines, Commissioner of Bureau of Lands and Commissioner of Land Registration Commission LRC according to the Law of Ownership in Article 426, 427 and 428. Republic Act 26, Republic Act 496, Republic Act 2259, Presidential Decree 1529, and protected by Treaty of Paris, Treaty of Versailles, and Treaty of Understanding and Concordance of Agreements. The private ancestral land domain of Hacienda Filipina Archipelago covered by Torrens title of original certificate of title T01-40CTT01-4, TCTT408, and TCTT498 with finality, decided and settled in the consolidated LRC slash civil. Case number 3957P, Court of First Instance CFI Branch 28. Pasay City on February 4, 1972 and Supreme Court orders dated March 21, 1974, August 11, 1976, August 11, 1977 and August 4, 1978. Annex F.
the 60 years 1950 bilateral minefield breakthrough successor agreement, records, and archive section of Central Bank of the Philippines as well as in the archive section of England, wherein former President Sergio S. Osmana, former President Elpidio Aquirino, former chairman of the board of the Central Bank of the Philippines Miguel Cuaderno Sr. and even the international leaders was among the signatories. As per record, this agreement between the Talano Tagian royal clan and the Philippine government has already matured in 2005, but given additional five years moratorium to 2010. Annex G. The Supreme Court of the Philippines, Department of Justice DOJ and Bureau of Lands acknowledges the existence of the private ancestral land domain Torrance title with the support of 16 Supreme Court orders to the original certificate of title T01-40CTT01-4, T408, TCTT408, TCTT498, Annex H. In behalf of the Alpha Omega World Development Marshall Program Incorporated and the Universal Queen of Queens Foundation Incorporated to implement the United Nations Economic and Social Culture UN ECOSOC Article 55 with my absolute right to my various special trust accounts worldwide, I can do unprecedented things for the sake of humanity most especially at least 108 million Filipinos and the future. Unborn Generations. I hope to merit your affirmative response on this urgent matter. Page 6. Respectfully. Signed, His Majesty, King Tiburcio Villamor Marcus Talano to GN the Fourth, code name, TVMLSM 666, United Nations, Seven Star Governor General. Supreme Commander, Allied and Non-Allied Nations, Koran Sol Signatory, U.S. Treasury IDIC-60-847-9. Titular Decree Number 01-022-740A, Co-Chairman, The Committee of 300, Federal Reserve System ID Number. C60-84-79, Global Funder Trilateral Number 54-32-11-01-10, Member, G20-23H World LSM Alpha Omega, Successor Air of OCTT 01-4-TCTT 408, T498, Member of the Board, Trilateral Commission, Chairman. El Banco Esperol de Filipino de Isabel Segundo, Judicial Administrator, Hacienda Filipina Archipelago, World Chairman, Alpha Omega Global Mars Hall Program. Member, the International Security Council of United Nations, Sole Redeemer of Flat and Trust Accounts Global EC1, C2, C19, 21. 777, email at dvmtalonus, at, gmail, dot com, Skype by D, tvmlsm666, US base phone numbers, country code 001, area code 718-825-4845 slash, country code 001, area code 347-553-8531. Country code 001, area code 718-679-2507. General Federico E. Ruse Jr., Council of TVMLSM 666 Director General slash Provost Marshal. Signed, General Crisanto Q. Cannon Jr., Executive Director. Council of TVMLSM 666, Director General, Provost Marshal, Alpha Omega World Development Marshal Program Incorporated and the Universal Queen of Queens Foundation Incorporated. Mobile number 0966186765959. Page 7. 
Alpha Omega World Development Mars Hall Program, Incorporated P.O. Box No. 387, Baguio City 2600, Cordillera Administrative Region, Phone, 0917-894-3676, 0966-186-7659, Email, Alpha Omega World 777, at, Gmail, dot com. Chris Alpha Romega 777 at gmail.com The 35 Regulatory Bodies Bureaus and Commissions 1. The U.S. Treasury 2. The G20-23 to Nations 3. The Committee of 300 4. The Trilateral Commissions 5. The Vatican Caritas Mission 6. Central Bank of the Philippines, 7, the 13th Federal Reserve System, 8, the World Bank Group of USA, 9, the United Nations Organization, 10, the United States Supreme Court, 11, Supreme Court of the Philippines, 12, the Bilderberg Organizations, 13, Central Intelligence Agency CIA, 14, the European Central Bank CCB, 15. The International Court of Justice ICJ. 16. The International Criminal Court ICC. 17. The International Monetary Fund IMF. 18. The World Health Organization WHO. 19. The Financial Action Task Force FATF. 20. The International Chamber Commerce of 600. 21. The International Security Council UNSC. 22. The Bank for International Settlement BIS. 23. The Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC. 24. The United Nations Development Program UNDP. 25. The Bank Governor of the Federal Reserve System. 26. His Majesty King Juan Carlos I and Queen Sofia of Spain. 27. Securities and Exchange Commission and the Philippines SEC. 28. Bureau of Central Interpol of United Nations Security Council. 29. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries OPEC. 30. The National Association Security Dealers Amex NASDAQ. 31. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees UNHCR. 32. The United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO. 33. The BRICS organizations Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. 34. The United Nations Conference on Trade and Development and TAD. 35. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Elizabeth II Queen of England. Page 8. Implementation of Economic and Social Council, ECOSOC Article 55, 56, 57, and 63 to 70. Resolution Number 01022-7408-2, 11, 2020. Honorable Rodrigo Roa Duterte, President, Republic of the Philippines. Supreme Court of the Philippines. Honorable Diastado M. Peralta, Chief Justice. Honorable Amy Lazaro Javier, Honorable Mary Ovila Moore Lopez, Honorable Jose Calle Agri Yes Jr., Honorable Esther La Perlis Burnaby, Honorable Andres Bernal Re Yes Jr., Honorable Alexander G. Gismundo, Honorable Samuel Hufano Gerlin. Honorable Rodel Vaquedas Alameda, Honorable Rosemary De Claro Carandang, Honorable Mario Victor Marvic F. Lienen, Honorable Ramon Paul Laugan Hernando, Honorable Alfredo Benjamin Sabata Cagioa, Honorable Ajado Edgar Leo de los Santos, Honorable Henry Jean Paul Belinghasainting. Associate Justices. 
International Court of Justice ICJ, International Criminal Court ICC, International World Court of Arbitration, International World Court of Bank for International Settlement. Page 9. Senate of the Philippines. Honorable Vicente Tito C. Soto III, Senate President. Honorable Richard J. Gordon, Senator, Chairman, Blue Ribbon Committee. Honorable Emmanuel Manny D. Pacquiao, Senator. Honorable Ronald M. De La Rosa, Senator. Honorable Jose D. Calida, Office of the Solicitor General. Attorney Domingo Egan Q. Keosa, National President, Integrated Bar of the Philippines. Honorable Menardo I. Guevara, Secretary, Department of Justice DOJ. Honorable Samuel Amati Rees, Office of the Ombudsman. Police General Archie Francisco Chief Ferenal Gamboa, Chief of Philippine National Police PNP. General Felimenta Luzon Santos Jr., AFP Chief of Staff. Page 10.